The first look is going to be a no makeup makeup look, I guess. And it's really just in case, you know, you're the type of person who doesn't like to wear a lot, but you want something to make your face feel a little bit more alive. Um, so what I'll be starting off with is a BB cream rather than a foundation. And BB cream is not something I've used a lot before. I've always wanted to, but just never really found one I liked. But I recently purchased this one from the body shop. So it, they've got an all-in-one BB cream. Mine is in shade number four, and it's a color adapting tinted cream. So you'll see it comes out white almost, and then adapts to your skin. So it's really great. But I am number four, which is the darkest one. Let's just... I really just want to work it in with your fingers. You can use a beauty blender, but for this I'm just gonna use my fingers. And oddly, this kind of, it feels like it has, you know, those really tiny beads that you get in exfoliators sometimes. That's what it feels like. So I don't know if that's, so it can adapt to your skin or not, but it kind of feels like a little exfoliator. And you can see that that already is just a little bit brighter, a little bit of coverage. And it really does just make all the difference. I really, really like what BB cream does, so definitely something I'll be trying in the future. Um, and now I am just going to use a little bit of concealer, just for the under eyes. And just with a damp beauty blender. Just gonna work that in. And now the face is just very, very bright and again, not too heavy. Honestly, I don't feel like I even have makeup on right now. I don't want to go too heavy, so with it comes to the eyebrows even, um, I just want to use the Urban Decay Brow Tamer. Mine is in dark brown. Um, just a great little spoolie brush with the product, just to darken up the brows because as you can see, mine do not exist <laughs> unless I have some assistance. And that's literally all I'm gonna do. Just brushing the product through. And I'm using the NYX Illuminating Blush in the shade Wonderlust. Um, this is a peachy, beautiful, like peachy shade, rather than a pink, because again, it just means it's not gonna be too heavy. So taking my Real Techniques beautiful brush, bold metals, bold metals brush of course, and just sweeping a little bit of blush on the cheek. And what I'm going to do is just add a little bit of powder to that, so just a setting powder. I'm using the Laura Mercier, what's it called? I'm using the Laura Laura Mercier Invisible Setting Powder because it's the best. Because this is basically non-existent, it's almost invisible, <laughs> hence the name. It's not going to feel like you're wearing any, but keep everything in place. Especially for somebody who is afraid of flying and aeroplanes, because you know I might break a sweat or two, so I don't want all of this to come off. Now, eyeshadow is really up to you. With this kind of look, you know, it's not really necessary, but if you want to add it, why not? It's probably the only time you will feel like you're wearing something on your face. But what I am going to do is just use a little in the inner corner to brighten and wake me up a little bit more and just a basic lid. So taking the crease brush from Zoeva, I'm just going to use 
the Cocoa Blend palette from Zoe Vera again. Substitute for Love Musy, which is basically the same as my skin tone. Just sweeping that across. So it just adds a little, little bit of colour. And then with the same palette, I'm using the shade Sweeter End in the very corner of my eye. And that, for me, is eyeshadow. Taking the NYX highlighter and contour palette, I'm just gonna add a little bit of highlight. They don't have names, they just have codes, but I'm taking this highlighter here, so the darkest one. Sweep on a fan brush and just a touch. And that is it. And finally, mascara, because even a no makeup look, you kind of need some mascara. So I'm using the NYX More to Love. And that is the finished look. So it is a very, very simple, quick, you could easily do that in 10 minutes or less probably. Um, no makeup, makeup look for the airport or even in just, you know, if you're not into heavy, every, heavy makeup every day, it's a great option. My skin with BB cream feels very moisturized. It's not drying. So that is something I would really recommend if you're not happy if you're not into wearing foundation all the time or often it's a really really great product goes on easy and obviously adapts to your skin which is even better so this is look number one And now for look number two. Again, this is not about being very heavily covered or anything like that. But for this look, it is showcasing a bright lip to get get you in the holiday mood, really excited, feeling a little bit more put together if you are a bit more into makeup and you want to look your best for the plane. I still look your best for the plane. You never know, there could be a single pilot waiting for you. Um, but again, not being too too heavy so let's just get started so for this I am using the NYX HD foundation my shade is warm sand and it's quite a cute little foundation it's actually it's small compact again a good one to keep with you in your hand luggage if you want to um, and you won't get in trouble okay let's give this a go So I'm just going to put it on the back of my hand and then use a beauty blender. This is one of those perfect foundations where it's like the great tone for my skin. I put it on in the, in the store in Boots and I was just like, oh my god, that is perfect. That is just my shade. Again, using the Urban Decay Naked Skin. I think I called it the HD concealer before, I don't know why. Um, <laughs> it's the Naked Skin Concealer, not HD. Getting all confused with the products. To brighten it up. So, just using the Kiko bronzer, just a little heavier this time, and Kind of defining the cheekbones a little bit, but not not too much. So 
so you can see that color there. Don't worry, I'm gonna blend it. I'm just adding a little bit to those areas for a little bit more definition, but still light and breezy. Blush, I, again, I'm using the baked NYX Baked Blush, but this time it's the shade Chiffon. So it's a pinkier, darker shade. What I love about these NYX Baked Blushes as well is that they're kind of, you can borderline get away with using them as a highlighter. They're so, they've got some kind of iridescence in them. It makes them very, very, very pretty. And this time for my brows, I'm not using the um, Anastasia Beverly Hills, but I am using a brow powder, and it's the Urban Decay Brow Kit, or it's the brow, bo brow box. Um, and it's really, really great. So you get it like, it's almost like a little mini beauty drawer. So you open the first one, and that's got different powders. So you obviously got it just to match your, your color, and then a highlighter color there. Um, and then underneath again, you've got a little set, and it's two brushes and some tweezers. So you've got everything you need to get the perfect brows. And obviously this is very new because I haven't taken the plastic off the mirrors yet. I want to keep the mirrors nice until I actually need to use them because I just use my other big mirror when I'm in the house. So with the brow box, you come in two different shades, and this one is called Brown Sugar which used to be my nickname. <laughs> so I'm gonna take one of the little beautiful brushes. It is so cute. And it has Urban Decay on it as well. It's adorable. So. I'm going in with the darker shade. I'm just going to use the brow tamer, brow tamer again. Just with it being a powder, I'm going to go over it with the gel to make sure that it stays, but very lightly. For this look, uh, again, I don't want to go too heavy with the eyes, particularly because it's a bright lip that we're going for. So just going to do a very basic color. I'm using the shade Freshly Toasted in the Zoeva palette because I used it before, it's here. I'll just use this and use a Zoeva brush because they're so pretty. Shade Bitter Start, which is a matte white basically, because I don't want to use any sparkly colours. Um, Putting that in the inner corner. Just to make it a little brighter. That's what we're going for. So you look awake even if you don't feel awake. Again, just using the Laura Mercier Invisible Setting Powder to make sure everything. Ooh, sugar. That powder's gone everywhere. <laughs> It's literally everywhere. Last but not least, some <coughs> some more mascara. Again, just using the NYX More to Love mascara. Now for the lips, I am using a lip cream. First, I just want to use a lip balm because my lips are quite dry. And with the lip creams, if your lips are dry, it doesn't really go on that well, so... This is just a Nivea lip. So for the lips, I'm using the NYX lip cream in the shade Antwerp. Antwerp? I don't know. That's what it's called. And it is very bright. <laughs> Thank you. 
And I'm just gonna let that dry and then do another coat. I think putting the pink lip cream on has made it look very bright. <laughs> so we'll just let that dry. Hi everyone! Um, if you're wondering why the lighting is different and why my top is different, basically everything is different because when I looked back at the footage of the end of the video, um, my micro my microwave? My microphone had decided to stop working, so I had to refilm. <laughs> um, so excuse the difference in all of that, but I just wanted to finish off the video basically. And just say that um, with the lip cream, you just add a second coat because it is a matte color and it's still a little bit wet because I have done other things in the day, so just reapplied it and everything. But I really love how it looks. Um, it's surprising because in this, you wouldn't looking at the looking at the actual bottle, you wouldn't think it was this bright, but it really is. It's great and it's Antwerp once again, mix lip cream. So I'd definitely be taking that on holiday with me. I really hope you like the second look and the first look as well because that BB cream is really terrific. Thank you so much for watching the video and I really hope you enjoyed it and the second extra edition in a few hours later. If you like the video then please give it a thumbs up and make sure you comment below which look you like better, which one you would prefer to wear to the airport if any and what are your tips for makeup in the airport especially on long haul flights, I'd love to know. Make sure to like the video and I will see you all very soon after my holiday. Bye!